Let's look at coterminal angles. For example, let's find an angle between 0 and 2 pi that is coterminal with negative 11 pi divided by 6. Now, two angles are coterminal if they share the same initial and terminal sides. So let's sketch our angle here in standard position. Now an angle is in standard position when its initial side is on the positive x-axis. And because our angle here is negative, that means that we're going to start rotating in the clockwise direction. But how far are we going to go? Well, one complete revolution in the clockwise direction measures negative 2 pi. Now, how many sixths is negative 2 pi? Isn't that negative 12 pi divided by 6? which means that our angle here, negative 11 pi over 6, didn't quite make it there because 11 is smaller than 12, which means we're pi 6 short of negative 2 pi or negative 12 pi 6. So here's our angle, negative 11 pi over 6. Therefore, the angle that we're looking for between 0 and 2 pi that has the same initial and terminal side as theta is this angle here, pi divided by 6, which would be our answer. Another way to think about it is if we add or subtract 2 pi radians from theta, then we're going to land on an angle that has the same terminal side, and hence will be coterminal with theta. Specifically, pi divided by 6, which is our answer, is equal to theta, or negative 11 pi over 6, plus 2 pi. All right, let's look at another one. Let theta equal 600 degrees. We'll first find an angle between 0 and 360 that is coterminal with theta. And then we'll find an angle between 0 and negative 360 that's also coterminal with theta. Again, let's sketch theta in standard position. Its initial side will be the positive x-axis. And because this angle here is positive, we're going to start rotating in the counterclockwise direction. But how far do we go? Well, one complete revolution measures 360 degrees. So if we go another 180 degrees, where are we? Well, 360 degrees plus 180 degrees is equal to 540 degrees. So this angle here would be 540 degrees. Well, we want to get to 600 degrees, which means we're 60 short because 540 plus 60 is this 600, which means we'll need to go another 60 degrees in the counterclockwise direction to get to 600 degrees. Namely, we go one full revolution, then we go another half, then we go 60 more. So this would be 600 degrees here. All right, so we're first looking for an angle between 0 and 360 degrees that is coterminal with this angle. Wouldn't that just be this angle here? Which would be 180 degrees plus 60 degrees or 240 degrees. Both of these angles have the same initial and terminal sides, and moreover, 240 degrees is between 0 and 360 degrees. So 240 degrees would be our answer to part A.
Now we still need to find an angle between zero and negative 360 degrees that is coterminal with theta. And with negative measured angles, we go counterclockwise from the initial side. So wouldn't that be this angle here, which is negative 120 degrees? Because a quarter turn in the clockwise direction measures negative 90 degrees, and then we have to go 30 more. So that would be negative 120 degrees. So our answers here then would be 240 degrees and negative 120 degrees. And this is how we find coterminal angles. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.